What is going on everybody? The Ring Collective is the name of the channel. This is just a quick video for you guys. More like an update. I recently got a 24 to 70. Let's take a look here. Bam. 24 to 70 f2.8 Sigma lens for my uh, Sony full frame. And there's a ton of videos, the reviews, the specs, all of that good stuff. So I'm not gonna get into that. What I will say, who is this lens for? and why is it working for me and why I wanted to get it for my arsenal. So I do a lot of projects where I work with like small to medium sized businesses, real estate, really and truly it can be a bit of a variety in terms of the type of clients that I work with. And then also like doing my personal projects and things like that. So I wanted to have a lens that instead of just always grabbing all my primes, because I have a ton of primes, I got 18s, 24s, 85s, you know, 50s, you know, nifty 50s, 35s. I'm shooting on a 35 right now. And of course, those are great. Like I love this 35 right here, it's F1.8. But I wanted to have something that could have a little bit more versatility, where if I could only just bring maybe one or two lenses, what would it be? And that's why I opted for the 24 to 70. So, 24 millimeters if I'm doing maybe you know real estate some architectural shots where I want to really get a big big wide shot and really trying to get as much in there I go with the 24 if I want to do like a talking headpiece like I'm doing now you know you got like a 35 50 depending and then sometimes I just want to have more closer shots but still keep a, de a decent distance then I could go with like a 70 and for me that outweighed so many of the cons with this lens because there's a few cons like i said it's a 2.8 it's not a 1.8 it's not the sony g master right but all of that kind of goes out the window because the pros that it has you know it's not too heavy and it gets the job done right it gets the job done. look at that it's a good piece of glass right there look at that guys and that's how i really make my purchases with my gear uh, with my lenses I have to make sure it makes sense for where I'm currently at in my business, right? There's other people where they have the big budgets where they can just go ahead and just grab it all, right? <laughs> I wish I'd like that, but I don't. So for me, when I'm building up my lens, building up my gear, it kind of has to match where I am in the business, what I'm doing, and if it makes sense, let's go with it. The 24 to 70 made a ton of sense for me for what I'm trying to do, the type of clients that I'm working with, trying to work with, and also for my personal projects, right? You know, I use it for my YouTube videos. I use it for when I'm just outside. My, it's my run and gun. And the glass is great. It's a Sigma lens. You can compare it to the Sony uh, G Master, which is like almost double, <laughs> right? I couldn't, I couldn't spend that money right now, so I opted for this one. The price point was pretty much spot on for me. You can't really tell the difference, guys, between the Sony G Master and the Sigma, right? You really gotta really do some pixel peeping to really, really see the differences. There's pros and cons to both the G Master and the Sigma, but the pros far outweigh the cons for me and the type of videos I shoot, right? And that's a deciding factor, I think, with any time you're getting gear, you're building up your lens, especially the lenses. What are you shooting? What are you shooting? What are you shooting? If you're doing a lot of talking head pieces, interviews, things like that, you may not need to get, you know, a 100 to 200 lens. It may not be the case, right? If you're doing a lot of architecture and landscape, yeah, you may want to think about getting some zoom lenses and then also some nice wide angle lenses, right? So it all depends on what you're shooting, what you're trying to do, and where do you want to go with it. 24 to 70, no matter where I go, it's in the camera bag. I love it. I'll probably put some sample shots and uh, show you what it looks like. And then also I've been using Catalyst Browse with it, which has been a complete game changer. Using Catalyst Browse with the zoom lens has been a game changer. It's really like given like a new life to what I want to shoot and just how mobile I can be when I start uh, creating content. So I'm curious to know which lens do you have? Do you have the 2470? Do you have the G Master one? And then also like, what are you guys thinking about picking up later on? Because I have my little wish list, but you know, slow and steady, I gotta wait. I gotta make sure I maximize this baby first and then we can move on. So let me guys, let me know. Let me know what you guys got. I'm curious. 24 to 70, Sigma, let's go.